2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. We've managed to leave the theme parks of Orlando and head into the beautiful Bay Hill Club and Lodge. What do you think of this place, Rich? Well, this is the King's golf course, isn't it? Arnold Palmer, and this golf course is everything and then some. It's big, it's beautiful, and it is difficult. Luke, I only played here twice in all of my years on tour because I was afraid of it. I never had a good round here, and I've never had a good round since. But in saying that, these players love coming here. They come here because of the golf course and the difficulty of it, as well as to honor Arnold Palmer, the gentleman who really took our game into a new dimension back in his day. It's especially known for its last three holes, Luke. A very short par five, then a very long, difficult par three, and then how do you escape the last hole? Water, water everywhere on the second shot. How many times have we seen Tiger Woods hole a birdie putt on the 18th green for the victory? More times than I can count. What an incredible venue for a great championship. This golf course is loved by most on the PGA Tour. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Going with the 9-iron, I think. And that was a bit of a misfire. It needed to put some draw on that one, but just couldn't get it dialed in. And this one is for bogey. Looking good. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Yep, tracking nicely. Ouch, that's not the way they intended to start their day, Rich. Nope, it looked like you were out there, Luke. Lucky to get away with a double bogey. He's currently in a share of sixth. The second hole is a long par three, old typical Redan style at 230 yards. Yes, the green runs from right to left and chases away from the player on the tee. You can hit it short right and have it bounce on to the flag six that are on the right. However, when they're in the back left, you don't want to come up short and left in a low area. That'll leave a very difficult up and down. Rich, I love it when we get to break from play just to take a look at some great highlights. Third shot now. Ah, that's too bad. Put a great effort on that stroke. Let's return to live play now. No green in rig, but a chance to save their par. And he needs this to save par. Oh, just missed the par. That'll be a drop shot on this hole. That was pretty straightforward. And with that effort, now three over for the day.
Rich, the first exposure to the famous lake here at Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and Lodge is the third. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left-hand side you obviously want no part of, but if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player, moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or putt it in the water. Quality shot, that one. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? And from around 135 yards... Left yourself an opportunity. Standing over this one, and it's a very long part. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. And this one is for his par. drops and we're moving on and stepping up the standings after that effort the first of the par fives rich the fourth hole yes look you got out of bounds on the right hand side that shouldn't come into play for the players but those bunkers down the left hand side certainly will if you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway the second shot uphill to this par five you can reach but still lots of trouble lurking around this green this one's looking good off the tee that should find the short stuff Why don't we catch up with our man in the hot seat, Tiger Woods? Look at the touch that this man possesses. Pretty straightforward shot, about what you'd expect to see from this player. Rich, I love being back at Bay Hill every time because you get to honour the absolute legend of our game, the King Arnold Palmer. There's just an air of something extra special this week, isn't there? When you step on the property here at Bay Hill, you know you're in the presence of something special. Arnold Palmer's legacy was really built here, wasn't it? Granted, he absolutely brought everything he had to the PJ Tour, but when you come to Bay Hill and you have all the monuments, especially the statue right there to the right behind number one and number 10 tee boxes, you just get a chill down your spine like, man, this is some kind of awesome place. I cannot wait to tee it up here. And saying that, Mr. Palmer did not <laughs> leave a knockoff course. That's very easy for these players. But listen, they come back here every year knowing that they need and they want to honor the gentleman who helped form the legacy of the PGA Tour. And that's why they're out here playing for all the money. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. Looking good. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Just one off the lead after that hole. The fifth at Bay Hill is the shortest par four on the front nine, measuring just under 400 yards, Ridge. Placement off the tee, critical here. It is. It plays straight downhill the entire way, so most players not taking driver out and challenging those bunkers. Lay up short of those, and you'll have a short shot to a green that once again chases away from you at the back end of it. That dog will hunt. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, guys. We're checking in with Colin Morikawa as he gets set for his next shot here on the... That's outstanding. Mark that down on the highlight reel. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? From about 130 yards here, just a stroke behind the leader. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. 
Good sounding strike, that one. Oh, wonderful shot. And a chance for Birdie at the fifth. Four feet to the cup. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Checking the scoreboard now. This player is currently sitting in a tie for the lead with Tiger Woods. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough.